Hello, hello. Uh, I want to show you something for our just to get started for our tattoo unit. But first of all, I just want to check out your um, drawing skills. I'm not judging you. I just want to see what you know because if you already know how to do all this, and I don't want to bore you um, and teach you over again, but not just that. I just want to see what your style is, and then I know how I can help you. So this is a fun exercise, okay? So this is just a warm-up exercise to see, um, you know, what you got, all right, and see where you're at. So um, I've asked everyone to take a picture, and I printed a bunch of uh, tattoo kind of pictures. If you're away that day, then you can print one, and we'll figure something out. Um, but you want to start off with a picture, and we definitely want something that has sort of shading in it, okay? So again, value, you know, is another word for shading. Okay, you need some scissors. You're going to need a glue stick, um, and then you need a, your drawing pencil. So every art kit should have a drawing pencil, and that's the most important thing. I don't want you to use um, just the regular um, HB pencils. Okay, this is for math. This is for art, okay, and that's really important. I'll show you the difference afterwards. Um, what we're doing is we're going to do something called a half and half drawing. So what we're doing is we're going to take a picture like this that I've printed, and we're going to cut it in half. And you can cut it half from any way. You're going to glue one half down, and the other half of it, you're going to draw in and match up exactly all the shadows and the shading. So when I look at it, I really shouldn't be able to tell which one's the photocopy and which one's your drawing. If you're freaking out, I'm going to help you because I'm going to help you trace the outlines of it. So don't worry about that part. Okay, so you have a picture cut in half. It doesn't matter how, if you cut it in half this way, this way, diagonal, a wave. I don't care, but you just, I'm, I'm saying half because I really want you to be able to draw half. I don't want people to be like, draw it like cutting out a sliver and that's what they have to draw. Okay, so one half, you have a glue stick in your art kit. You are going to glue that down in your black book. I'm not using a black book, so I'm so many hands. You glue it down better. So, check it on there. Okay, so we got that, that there. Now, I'm going to hang on to this as a reference. So, this part here that I've cut away, I want to draw and I'm going to match up. So how do we get that on there? Well, the easiest way is to use one of the light tables in class, if you happen to be in class, and then we can trace it. And just what we're tracing is just all the outlines, right? So we're tracing all the outlines. So then it's like a coloring book, right? Then we're, then we're going in and we're adding shading. So I think the timing worked out, though, that it's not going to work out for light tables. So because um, I think you might be at home for this. So no problem. You have the photocopy. I've already showed you this trick before, but I'll show it to you again. On the back of it, with your pencil, you just do that on the back of your piece. Mr. Clark, contact the main office, please. Office interruptions. Okay. You get the point, right? So you do this all on the back of your piece. So you're kind of making your own carbon paper. This is the fastest way. Okay, so you do that all in the back. I'm just doing a little bit of it, right? And then you line it up. And then what you're going to do is just going to out trace. Again, it's just the outlines. The outline of your image. So for example, like that. And wherever your pencil is. So wherever your pe pencil is, it's going to be to transfer. So if you need to make that darker, then you can. All right. So again, I make sure that you draw really lightly. I'm just tracing over top of it so I can see it better. Right. So if you can see that, so you end up then with your whole image. So don't freak out because you don't need to draw the whole thing. Okay. Once you have it all out, I either have this as a reference, but this is where oh, I didn't draw that very well. This is where you have this as a reference. So the focus is on this, these shadows. So I want to, one, I want to match up not only the darkness or the lightness, but I also want the direction of the strokes. So the pencil lines for this person have made them like this. So you really just need to take your time. And I'm using this as a reference. And I can see how like super dark it is here. Like I want to get it as dark as I can. And I realize one is a photocopy. It, the other is pencil, but I really think that you can try hard and, and do this. It gets lighter. So I'm, I'm going by this, but I'm also matching it up to here. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, and just keep working away until the whole piece is done. And then when you stand back and you look at it, you really won't be able to tell the difference. What is what? It's really great practice just how to learn how to match up different ranges of value and how to do pencil lines. Um, you always learn 
by coughing. There's nothing wrong with coughing. This is kind of like coughing. But that's a really great way that you learn. Okay, you get the idea. Um, if you want, you don't necessarily have to cut the whole thing in half. What you could do is if you wanted to, if you were ambitious, if you wanted to trace the whole thing onto the black book and then use the whole thing as a reference and do all the shadows, then you totally can. It's up to you. It depends how ambitious. Now, I just want to show you something really quickly on the difference between um, why we're using a drawing pencil and why we're using an HP pencil. So, crash course in pencils. This is uh, uh, just a normal HB or 2HB. So, in the middle of pencil world, there's HB. H means hard. And B means soft. B is like this Italian word. I can't remember what it is, but that's that's why B means soft. So then you have like 2B, 4B, 6B, and then it goes, sorry, H. <laughs> and then it goes the other way. So you have H, 2H, 4H, 6H, and the other way you have 2B, 4B, 6B. Okay, so B is softer. So if it's a 2B, it's pretty soft. If it's a 4B, it's even softer. And if it's 6B, it's even softer. And then it works the other way. It gets lighter. The, the um, pencil gets, lead gets harder. So 2H is hard, 4H is harder, and 6H is very hard. So that means your lines that you make are going to be darker if you have a soft lead because it's soft, so more lead comes off of it. And with an H pencil, your lines are going to be lighter and more um, rigid because it's it's harder lead. So stuff like this would be really good for media outlines, or it's definitely like math and architectural kind of stuff. Darker stuff is good for adding value and shading. As you can see, look how much it smudges, right? The big deal about this is for my, if my drawing, if I want to get like super, super darks like this, I will never be able to get that with uh, an HB pencil, right? Or, or a 2H pencil, something right in the middle. So just the, the difference is huge, right? I mean, I can get pretty dark, but it's not the same because it's harder and it just doesn't look as nice, okay? So that means I'm kind of limited. If I draw with this, my drawings are going to look very, like, grayish. This one is going to look more 3D because it's going to have that whole range of value, okay? So that's your lecture on pencils. All right, so that's your half and half drawing. So give it a shot, and this is a great learning experience. And if you want to do a couple of them to practice, then, then go for it. Okay, have fun.